Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express right here on SABC3. Time for some tech news on your Friday. And what an interesting chat this is going to be. Asgardia, the first ever space kingdom, is based on a satellite currently in low or low Earth orbit. But uh, does it meet the criteria of statehood, which include a permanent population, uh, a defined territory, a government, and the capacity to enter into relations with other states? Big questions right there, but here to give us more details on this space kingdom is our tech expert, Tiernas Jansen von Rensburg. Tiernas, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. This is interesting. Hey? It, is, it is novel. Asgardia. Isn't that where Thor and Loki resides? Asgard? Yeah, it's Asgard, yeah. That's probably what it's based <laughs> yeah, off of. <laughs> probably. But, okay, Asgardia at, at the moment only exists in the form of a 2.7 kilogram kind of red box sized satellite. Exactly. But can it actually qualify as, as an actual territory? So what they're trying to do is, is um, think of ways where we can legislate it correctly so that it does become a territory. Right. The, the thinking is that we do it in the same way you've got your free economic zones around islands, for example. You've got 200 kilometers that, that from the coast that, um, that you own, essentially, okay. um, as a state. So they want to do something similar to that. And the idea behind Asgardia is to form um, as perfect a society as we can without all of the kind of what they call meaningless squabbles the <laughs> states have on Earth. Yeah. Um, um, so, it's obviously still very early ages, but um, the, the constitution has been written. Um, people, there are already 100,000 citizens that have signed up. Really? Um, Yes, and, and they're hoping within the next five to ten years, as space, to, uh, space tourism becomes a thing, you can actually get up there and they can build the, you know, the station that they need to, to start expanding. The, you know what, the, uh, the mere fact that conversations are starting around this topic, this is, it is, it is a little bit nerve-wracking, to be honest, because uh, <laughs> what is going to see us living in space and the space station can become like a, like a hub for humans to go and spend some time. But I think the big question is, how, how, how would you become a citizen? So anybody can um, become a citizen now, regardless of what other state you belong to at the moment. Okay. So you can just go onto their website, um, literally sign up, and then you'll get a passport. Um, the only cost you have to carry is to get there in the first place once it's up and running. Right. right. So what does it what does it mean for you living on Earth already? I mean, do you have any privileges? <laughs> well, I mean, they're, they're still they're still trying to figure figure all that out. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know. It's very rare that you can have dual state citizenship um, if, you, if you're um, a part of some member state. But uh, the thinking is that you would then form a permanent society um, in Asgardia and you know you, you would obviously adhere to the constitution and their, their laws and legislation um, in order to, what they say, build the perfect society without these meaningless wow. squabbles. The perfect society without meaningless squabbles. It's going to be interesting to see how they assess the status of these populations um you exactly. know what do you think is going to happen with regards to just you know what what your status gonna be right i mean it is interesting right it's it's a obviously kind of pie in the sky thinking at this point in time because where humans are there's going to be squabbles I and mean, that's just that's just that's, <laughs> that's just our nature um but but just the fact that that thinking of ways where um we can build a society in such a way that we first of all don't um screw up the atmosphere or the resources that we currently yeah. have on the planet um and do it in a way that is uh, you know a fair free society um you know where everybody's equal okay so so you, how do you become a citizen again you just go to the you website just go to the website and sign up what way do you know what the website that is? Uh, it's asgardia.org if I'm not mistaken. Asgardia.org. All right. And and do you physically, what, if you become a citizen, do you, do you have to be able to go no, there one day? Don't. or you don't. Can you still live here? We, we obviously don't know how long it's going to take. It's, it's <laughs> not going to happen the next 10 years. Um, so, I mean, there's people that's it's 70 years old that have signed up that are probably never going to see it, unfortunately. That is that is, that is is very interesting. <laughs> and uh, It's going to be interesting to see over the next couple of years how this is going to be unfolding. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dennis, for joining us this morning. So, I don't know, if you want to become a citizen of Asgardia, well, <laughs> There you have it. <laughs>